brothers welcome back to dummy nation now you may be asking are there other regions of the world besides the mediterranean and to that i would say the chat is unaware of it because we will be playing as the most upvoted country in the last video which is cyprus now cyprus actually has a deceivingly good start it starts out as the 102nd best gdp 160 in military power which is obviously not very good we don't start with any troops but we have 3 million in the bank, but most importantly, we are a part of the EU, which will give us a lot of protection in the early game that we need ever so much. So with that being said, let's go ahead and get started here. Bring down social spending, bring up military spending. Let's get that all the way up there. I want to get an even 20. Yeah, there we go. That's good enough. Apply that and let's go ahead and cheapen our military research and go ahead and get the full levels of reactive armor. Now, also taking a look at our ideology, we want to pump up Liberator all the way, take down military service all the way. Military service is good for defense, but we really don't need defense being part of the EU. So we're good on that front until much later. And now we can start investing in our military. So let's get about 3000 tanks. Let's get about 69K commandos, a little bit less rockets or gunners, and then the rest into rocket artillery. And that will be a wonderful start for us. Starting in the Mediterranean, we'll go for our usual targets of hopefully Malta and Monaco to get things started, but we're starting better off than we did in Tunisia. We're making at least 11, so that's very good for us. And we'll just go ahead and speed this along until we start to get our military, and then we'll start escapading outwards and conquering some f smaller nations. Malta actually got freaking tanks or rockets. That counters us pretty heavily. And Monaco's also strong, so we don't have really any targets right now. We'll just keep building up our military unfortunate all right that just leaves one target for us left which is northern cyprus which is protected by turkey but if we can get this done quick enough we won't have to worry about them so let's go ahead and get started hopefully we won't run into any rebels and we can just conquer them quickly the entire island is ours wonderful that doesn't really change our economy but it is just the better borders for us and now we're just gonna have to wait for a little bit of drama to unfold elsewhere now do we have an alliance with one of the major three and can we get one we can get one with russia let's get that China, do you want to be friends? No, maybe later, says China. United States, hey, remember how we're a democracy? Frick you, 24 million? Ah, oh, so this is a bad start for us. Turkey's getting involved fighting Syria, and no one's coming to Syria's defense, which means we're not, unfortunately, going to be able to get any of Syria. Although Turkey fighting Egypt could be a little bit interesting later on. We'll have to kind of wait and see. We can get away with attacking one pla place in NATO before everybody hates us. So if Turkey just goes full ham into Egypt and they both lose, that's going to be good for us. But uh, we continue to wait for our opportunity. Spain is fighting Algeria. Let's get over here and see if we can capture any bit of the coast. They're getting chased away, but all the military has gone, which means we can get involved in some of these economic zones. Unfortunately, Spain's going to get uh, the big chunk of it, but it could give us a way out, which would be more valuable. I don't even mind fighting anybody. Nobody's declared war on us. Everybody's letting us have this. Oh, um... Somalia has declared war on us. And then Lebanon's declared war on us. Can I? Yeah, that's cheap. Go away. And now we'll just run through Algeria. Thank you so much, Spain. That was very nice of you. We do have 4.1 in the bank, so we can go ahead and get our first level of uh, combat training. Oman's declared war on us. I don't think we'll get this done before they come over, so we'll just buy them off as well. Everybody's been pretty cheap so far. We're almost done with Algeria, making 72. That's very nice for us. So that is the end of Algeria. That... Did take our military down a little bit i missed an attack from one of these nations so we lost about a thousand tanks which is actually pretty detrimental but we are the 49th best military power 31st or 49th best gdp 31st best military power we have some great targets down below us in mali and in nigeria or niger i don't want to waste our military unnecessarily we're still not at the point where we can replicate any of our military or reproduce any of our military so Let's just be patient here. Someone will come up like a Russia or United States will kind of come come through. United States has already landed. So has Russia. One of them will go through these guys. And then once the military has been defeated, we can get the land for free. And I think that's a much better value for us in this position. Honestly, we shouldn't hold off. We should just attack Mali ourselves. We have the military power. What's our strength at? Not quite high as high as we will like, but I'm just going to jump on Mali because I want to get out of this. I want to have an access out. Now, Mali's not going to give it to us. But we could go through Burkina Faso. And then is this already spoken for? Yeah, China's already grabbed that. But we can still get Ghana. Turkey and Israel, though, are really going at it. Turkey is so weak. Ooh, is that all their armies? That is all their armies. Hold on. Everybody go home. I don't know if we'll have the funds for it. But if we could get away with it. Now, we'll win this. But we're going to get declared war on by a lot. Norway, Um, what's not fight? There we go. 
It's cheap for us to buy off because we're part of the EU. And if we could get Turkey, this really just absolutely changes our game. Hopefully nobody declares war on us in the next like three minutes. I do need a lot more gunners out here. Get right there. Oh, we still have another army. <laughs> we left one. <coughs> well, that's good news. I thought we were absolutely boned, but we got this. I completely missed this other army. So as soon as they get up here, we'll be able to kind of roll through. Hopefully nobody else grabs any of the, the big economic zones of Turkey. But this is really great for us. Oh, this is going to be so much money. And it will give us immediate access to Russia. So we really don't even need a way out. But the only way it backfires is really if China or Japan would fall because we would need access to them. But it's Russia who's still falling. So that's very good news for us. No bad timing. Ukraine's going to block us. We're going to get Turkey and I think we have to settle with Turkey. You guys attack here and let's see if we can get into Russia. Ukraine stopped. Yes, Ukraine did stop, which is very fortunate for us. But Estonia is not going to. So let's keep pushing up north. Forget that land. Economic zones. We could still make a push for Moscow and I'm going to try for it. But I think Estonia is going to beat us there. So we grabbed Moscow. Very big for us. That was huge. We're very fortunate that everybody's kind of stopped attacking. We do have a lot of cleanup to do, and we don't quite have the military to do it, which is a little bit unfortunate. I'm just going to invest in gun and commandos for right now. It's just kind of a quick band-aid and hope that we'll have the overall military power to kind of hold everything. All right, Turkey has finally been defeated. Now we can bring the second army up to help fight the, uh, the Russians. Not multiple, sorry. Right now, nobody's joined in, which is a big blessing for us, but people are definitely going to here very shortly. Okay, so we're about halfway through with Russia. Nobody else is still joined in. We are the fourth largest population, so we do need to take a moment to balance our budget. We're making 800 right now. We obviously know that's not sustainable. We need to get social spending up a little bit. And I think we'll bring down military a little bit more just because we really don't need the military. We need to start fighting inflation early and often. And this will bring us down probably close to 600. But if we continue our escapades over in Russia, that should hopefully even out and then we'll be fine. How's the rest of the world looking though? Pretty unchanged. Nobody really went for a big scramble in Africa, which is crazy. I mean, the United States is fighting down India. India doesn't have troops. The United States is going to get a big boon from that. And so will South Korea. But uh, as I've mentioned many times, I hate getting involved with India, especially in the early game, because they have so many rebels. The United States is going to take a big pounding off this, and they're going to be strong enough to withstand, but it is going to hurt them in the long game. How's China doing? China, ooh, China's, I mean, they got 10 million, but they don't have a lot of tanks. That could be interesting here in a little bit. Yeah, so Australia's getting involved now. There's nothing we're really losing over here, so I think we just continue to keep pushing. The only real economic zones left is down south, so I'm going to go push for this. And then after that, I think we'll be fine with whatever we get from Russia. United States getting involved, not the best. How strong are they at this point? 52%. So, so long ways off, but you hate feeding the United States any more land. Australia is an interesting neighbor that you don't get very often. We'll have to kind of wait and see how they play it. But we definitely got the lion's share of this. We're close to making a thousand, a natural thousand, by the way. So that is great for us. Really just catapulting ourselves. Go Getting Turkey down early was a huge boon. And then it just happened to coincide with Russia absolutely getting uh, stomped on and Ukraine and Estonia really not going for it, which couldn't have worked out for us any better. India's military is something else. I mean, there was standing in the United States just with militia power. It's really draining the United States. Like they've lost 3000 tanks just in this conflict alone. And they've, and they've they have, look how much they've actually gained. Just these two little sectors. That's why the AI will constantly abandon their attacks on India because at the end of the day, it's just not worth it for them. But we do also have another point so we can get combat training up. Does Iran have troops right now? They do not. Good call. Iran doesn't have troops. Hold on. Let's get some commandos out here. And we have been saving up and getting a number of tanks ready just to kind of make our next move. But we can definitely push into Iran and grab the rest of their little mil military while our our advanced force kind of finishes up Nigeria and the rest of Russia's holdings down here. I think that would be a good move. In fact, I don't want to send the tanks out alone, though, because if we run up to militias, we could really take some heavy attrition. It's definitely not worth it. We can we can wait for the the commandos to get ready. Commandos take so long to train. OK, there we go. We have it. Let's push into Iran. Grab what we can while these guys kind of finish up down here. Oh, let's go. We sniped it. That's huge. 
That's very big for us. And let's just keep pushing over here and challenging the United States. Split this army so it goes a little bit faster. Did we get the economic zone over here too? Almost, almost. We will get it. So that's the really last big piece of Iran that we can grab. So a great little coup for us. What a start. We finish off Russia, Turkey, and Iran. Still working on Russia. They still have a lot of overseas holdings. They were ham in the beginning. Oh, United States were hostile too. Hold on. That was expensive, but worth it. Hopefully we didn't lose too many tanks. Can I get an alliance treaty with you, do you think? 1.7 million. We can get an alliance with China. Let's go ahead and do that. That will help us out. There's, there's going to be strong ec economic partners for us because we do border them. So that's going to be very huge. Let's just send you home. And you home. And then we'll just finish up the rest of Russia. Hopefully that will happen quickly. But we have to kind of go through the jungles to get through. Okay, Russia's been defeated. Wonderful. Let's just send everybody home and start building up our military. We have been building up tanks this entire time. Just to kind of, because tanks are cheaper at the beginning of the game. So it's it's worthwhile to invest in that. But we definitely need a lot more commandos and gunners and rockets, which we're investing in rockets right now, getting another thousand out there. So we do need to recuperate a little bit. But after all of that, we stand at the fifth best GDP, eighth best military power. I think that just jumped up quite heavily. The United States is still putzing around with India, finally actually making some progress over here. They've been fighting really heavily. They started out with about 20K tanks. And just to show the, the pure might of India at the beginning of the game, they had 20k when they started fighting India. They have not fought anybody else. India is an absolute monster at the beginning of the game. While we're waiting, let's just go ahead and conquer Azerbaijan just to clean up the borders a little bit. We got a little bit of border girl going on here and we, I'm, I'm done with it. So we are we immediately stack wipe. That was the quickest war we could have ever done. So that was very nice. Saving up for a big bulk order of tanks. That's what we really need to kind of bulk up our, our strength. And we're also working through combat training. I have one more level to go for our foot soldiers. And after that, the world is going to be our oyster on who we want to attack next. We finish up the last little bit of combat training. So now combat training is great. We have Saudi Arabia as a great target. We have our military done. Let's go to war with Saudi Arabia. Oh my gosh, this is going to be a huge one for us. Now it will give us at, put us at war with Egypt, but I, I could probably piece that one down. Egypt doesn't scare me that much. We are, I think at this point, uh, we're the first, we're the strongest military power. So I really don't have to fear anybody other than myself and losing too many tanks. So we'll probably, we'll see who goes to war with us in this fight. Iraq. I honestly don't mind fighting Iraq or Sudan. You know what, Sudan? I'm just, it's not worth it to fight Sudan just because they don't really have any GDP. So I, I'd much rather fight Iraq because I'd love to go into them next. But fighting down Sudan is just, it's the land's not worth it. So there's no point in having that fight. Oman, Oman, I could fight down. I think Oman's going to be worth it. Saudi Arabia has been defeated. Let's take all of our armies, get ready to fight Iraq. Iraq's been heavily def uh, weakened after just sending multiple armies to try and stop us from invading Saudi Arabia, but they weren't able to do it, uh, obviously, because we have a lot of firepower and compared to their not even a point. So we'll go into them and then probably Oman. And we only have 8% of the world's GDP, so I don't think we have to worry about being a war labeled as a warmonger quite yet. But let's go ahead and split and start the war with uh, Iraq. All right, let's fight down Kuwait now, and then we'll just kind of clear out the rest of the Arabian Peninsula. All right, let's just go ahead and start conquering a little bit more of Northern Africa just to get our borders a little bit better, because Libya has also been defeated, so has Tunisia, so we can just roll through these two. Now, the economic benefits of doing such are not going to be absolutely massive, but it, it'll, it'll look nicer. <laughs> Ooh, Turkey's fighting Egypt. Hold on. Get everybody here. What if they lose? What if Egypt loses? They're going to lose. Okay, let's get involved. We'll push for Cairo. Give me half the army. And let's push down towards uh, the rest of the Nile where the economic zones are. Nice! Oh, that was a clean one. So Egypt now adds to our making 3.92 Third best GDP. We're going to finish up Libya just to connect our territories, even though Italy's kind of, you know, grabbed the good parts of it. I understand, but it'll look nicer. It's better border diplomacy. We have to do it for these reasons. There we go. That's a lot better, isn't it? Now, Morocco, I've noticed you don't have any armies left. Spain keeps knocking you down. Let's see if we can jump over there. And with the second army, let's just go into Chad. Let's just keep expanding. We'll just make our borders even better and better every single time. Indonesia, how weak are you? Ooh, there's a target. Indonesia, 13th best GDP. 
They only have 918 tanks. We just got an order of rockets in. Let's get another order of tanks in and get ready to go into that. That's definitely going to be worth it. Oh, no. China's already down there. We got to go. Uh, forget the rest of Sudan. I'm so sorry. We got to go now. Did anyone declare war on us? No. Brazil has. Brazil. What if we didn't do that? That's pretty cheap. United States, we're hostile to. Peace out with you. What about an alliance treaty? 26 million. You greedy girl. That's way too expensive for us. But we do finish up Indonesia. At least I think we did. Yes, we did. Okay, so we have a pretty good opportunity. Japan is weakened. They would be a great one to get. We could also potentially go into China. China's not like the weakest state it's been in a while. How many more tanks can we get? I'm just worried that we're not going to have enough tanks to really kind of push down on China. They have, yeah, they have mostly tanks, but we did just invest pretty heavily in the rockets. So maybe we get over here and just kind of wait and see. Now, we are allied to China. China, who are you friends with besides us? Just us in North Korea. Okay. That says a lot about us, potentially. That's a little bit shocking. Um, does anyone recognize this? <laughs> I just looked over here in Germany. Like, oh, no. Turkey! I thought you were dead. Here, let's get some commandos and we'll deal with Turkey. I don't know how they survive, but they're, they're going. Oh, China's really buffed up their military. They got 10k tanks now. Mexico doesn't have any troops, though. Maybe we just jump over here and grab some of Mexico's land. We do need a lot more commandos. We've run out. We've run our course with commandos. So we do need to buff those guys up a little bit more. So we'll get about another 600,000. But let's get ready for a war with Mexico, especially as the United States done all the work for us. It, it makes a lot of sense. Italy's here. Okay, just go. Just go. Split and go. All right. That's the end of Mexico. <laughs> so we're almost making 10k. Ooh, good start for us, but we need to uh, have a strong finish. Let's bring everybody over here. China. China's gotten real strong in the last two minutes. United States really hasn't. How's your diplomacy looking? Uh, Italy, Israel, Green and Greenland would come to your defense. Oh, them's good eats. Let's try and get up to 20k tanks, and then I think we start our war. All right. Now, technically, we're pretty close on firepower, but most of the United States military is wrapped up and foot tanks, which are foot soldiers, which should be counted pretty nicely by our tanks. So let's go ahead and start the war with the United States. The war to end all wars once again. Good. We got a small chunk of their military down already. They have lost most of their foot soldiers right there. We lost about 3k tanks, but definitely worth it for the economic gains we're going to get from taking down the United States right here. No tea party for you, Americans. Uh oh. Nope, that's a small army. Yeah, they still got about 4.8 kicking around somewhere, but. It's not that much. I felt comfortable enough to split the army at least once. We're constantly rebuilding our army over here. Well, there they are with some more gunners and, and tanks and everything like that. So hopefully that will kind of counter, but we're making 12 right now. So we don't have enough to take on the end game. Ooh, that is that that is a strong. Was that your army? Oh, you still got more. That's scary. Virtually game over now, isn't it? I mean, the, the rest of Europe could turn on me. And if they do, I, we're not strong enough to resist that. And China still exists. Hello, there is the freaking rest of the United States Army. Get over here and help fight it. There we go. I think that's the end of it. Let's get down here and fight these rebels. Okay. New army's been formed. Let's take this and start working down their, uh, the United States' is Africa holdings. They have a lot of the world. That's going to take a while to get down. Brazil. I need you to just... Wait, that's China. I need you to relax. How much for an alliance treaty with you? Three million? Yeah, just stop bothering me. <laughs> Stop bothering me with all your pesky attacks. As we go about conquering the rest of the United States, they did raise an army. I think it's already been defeated. Yeah, we already defeated it. So just finishing up the rest of South America and then starting to starting to push over here into Africa. Ah, oh, China's got Brazil. Honestly, it's fine. We're probably going to have to fight down China next, regardless. So them wasting some troops in Brazil doesn't bother me that much. We're pretty close to being able to finish up the United States and then jump into China right away. So it does suck a little bit to lose out on that, but we need to be, pre be prepared for the end game, not the current game, as we have 27k tanks, which is just an amazing number. We have some more rockets and stuff on the way. Yes, we do. We do need a lot more gunners. I would like like 5 million. So we'll start saving up for that. In fact, let's just start spending that now. 
United States has got some wild PR team, I'll tell you that much. Look at how much these guys are fighting tooth and nail to the last man. They don't always do this in every playthrough. Ooh, forget the rest of United States. I think they're gone for the most part anyways. China's fallen. United Kingdom's already over here. Everybody, everybody, everybody. It's a fire sale. Get there now. Okay, no friends, just enemies. Perfect for us. Let's just wait for to accumulate all of our forces. They still have a military? Yeah, they have a very small military. It's still worth pushing into. It would have been nice to know that. I think we can just use some... Like, I think you... Well, let's get... Wait for... We're building a bunch of commandos. I think they can finish up the rest of the United States as we deal with the real threat, which is China. Let's just push straight up into their capital, take them down, and then we'll start splitting. Honestly, China's pretty weak, so I'm just going to split. Yeah, they're focused down here, so we can definitely split at least once. How's this army? Have you gotten any ground forces yet? Yes, you do. Okay, great. Finish off the United States for me. There's their army. Is that it? Yes. Okay, good. Um, let's just take everybody and tell you all to split and fight China on every front. Excuse me. Fight China on every front. There we go. We'll see if we can blitz this down before we start taking attrition from on our economy. We, we're pretty close. This might be enough to get us there, so we'll, we'll just prioritize speed. And hopefully that will work out for us. We're at 90% already. It would be great if we didn't have to invade Europe to get this win. Just get over here. I don't even care that you're just militia. Just get over here. Oh, this is going to be it. 98%. Come on. 99. Let's go. Dude, is that the fastest we've ever won? That might be. Dude, King Cyprus rules overall. All hail King Cyprus. My God. What a stroke of luck we got there at the beginning with Turkey. And then parlaying that into Russia. And then after that, we were just unstoppable. Oh, nice little speed run there for us. But oh, what a good game. But as we do start to wrap things up, I just want to say thank you guys so much for watching, especially if you made this far in the video. And if you have a nation you want me to play next, I will play as the most upvoted comments in the net in this video. So check the comments down below, upvote the one you want or put the one you want in the comments down below. But thank you guys for watching. Appreciate you as always. And I will see everyone in the next one.